Some voters now in Atlanta have less than 90 minutes to cast their ballots for the city's next mayor. But Atlanta polls will be closing at 8. 8 o'clock in Atlanta. And the current mayor posted this on social media today, telling voters not to waste their vote. Channel 2's political analyst Bill Crane joins us now live. Of course, he has endorsed Keisha Lance Bottoms. Yeah, and the mayor's gotten real active this. So, Bill Crane, what do you think about a mayor saying the words, don't waste your vote unless you hit one of these two people of 12? Well, I thought his message was a little more direct than that and not exactly a subtle one, saying to all those votes down below them, and particularly given his animus towards Mary Norwood, who he narrowly beat in a runoff eight years ago by 700 votes, don't waste your vote if you're in it. All of you come up here and vote for Keisha Lance Bottoms. Mm -hmm. It was not so much implied the issue of race, but I think that's an underlying message that we've heard from Mayor Reed in other instances about maintaining the leadership and the current leadership of the city. Um, you have a very qualified, wide field of candidates, but really only two have been above 20% in any of the polling throughout this race. That's Keisha Lance Bottoms, the current front runner in the most recent poll, and Mary Norwood, the former city council president who had been the front runner for every other poll and survey prior to that. Uh, Vincent Fort, state senator, and Ka uh, Kathy Ward, the former Atlanta city council president, have been climbing since the Channel 2 debate. Both of them have gone up, but not enough to make a significant difference. Ten percentage points of undecided vote went away since that debate here at Channel 2, and the majority of it broke in Keisha Lance Bottoms' uh, favor and sprinkled around a little bit between Peter Amon, Vincent Fort, and Kathy Willard. All right. In DeKalb County today, voters are deciding on the county's very first special option sales tax that's going to help roads, help transportation projects all across the county. The wording on the ballot is very long. I had to scroll through a couple of times. Um, could it's that 1,463 impact? words, it's, including yes or no it's on ballot very question long. Yeah, it's very long. So do you think that will impact the outcome? I do. I do. In fact, I wrote a column about last week. You've got three ballot questions. All three have to pass for them to get the special option sales tax to pass. Two are regarding cuts in property taxes called host property taxes and spreading those among DeKalb's 13 cities. Mm -hmm. It's confusing. It takes two screens to get through question two, and I would forecast that all three questions will go down in flames tonight. Yikes. Okay. And sometimes that's by design, isn't it, Bill? That they, by design, the way they word it, there's a whole art to that. There is, but in constitutional questions, that's what they should have done. They put a summary at the top that gives you the, uh, sort of a short, brief, concise, simple, this is what the question is asking, or at least tries to, followed by the longer language. This doesn't do that. The only way you even know what you're voting on is there is words that says, DeKalb special purpose local option sales tax, and then the question. But it's, it's like a Wikipedia entry. <laughs> we don't expect it to be a long night, but there are some 400 races happening across uh, North Georgia and, and the whole state, actually. And, and we're going to be covering all of them, 50 different counties involved in Election Day. So we're going to be busy. And then back in four weeks for the runoff. That's right, because there will be one. You think? In multiple races, not in all of those races, right. but for, I believe for Atlanta's mayor, for several other, possibly mayor and Roswell, Fulton County Commission chair, probably. Mm -hmm. So, yes, there'll be a light turnout, but we'll be back doing this again in a month. All right. Thank you, Bill.